Elijah McCoy. So much time is wasted by trying to be better than others. Dream the impossible because dreams do come true. I am not a star, a star is nothing but a ball of gas. Going against the grain of society is the greatest thing in the world. Elijah J. McCoy, May 2, 1844 S2 October 10, 1929, was a Canadian-born inventor and engineer of African-American descent who was notable for his 57 U.S. patents, most having to do with the lubrication of steam engines. Born free in Canada, he came to the United States as a young child when his family returned in 1847, becoming a U.S. resident and citizen. Early Life Elijah McCoy was born free in 1844 in Canada to George and Mildred McCoy. At the time, they were fugitive slaves who had escaped from Kentucky to Canada via helpers through the Underground Railroad. Three George and Mildred arrived in Colchester Township, Essex, Upper Canada in 1837 via Detroit. Elijah McCoy had 11 siblings. Ten of the children were born in Canada from Alfred, 1836, to William, 1859. Based on 1,860 tax assessment rolls, land deeds of sale, and the 1,870 USA census it can be determined George McCoy's family moved to Ypsilanti, Michigan in 1859-60. Elijah McCoy was educated in black schools of Colchester Township due to the 1,850 Common Schools Act which segregated the Upper Canadian Schools in Scotland. At age 15, in 1859, Elijah McCoy was sent to Scotland. After some years, he was certified in Scotland as a mechanical engineer. By the time he returned, the George McCoy family had established themselves on the farm of John and Marianne Starkweather in Ypsilanti. George used his skills as a tobacconist in order to establish a tobacco and cigar business. Career When Elijah McCoy arrived in Michigan, he could find work only as a fireman and oiler at the Michigan Central Railroad. In a home-based machine shop in Ypsilanti, Michigan, McCoy also did more highly skilled work, such as developing improvements and inventions. He invented an automatic lubricator for oiling the steam engines of locomotives and ships, patenting it in 1872 as improvement in lubricators for steam engines, U.S. Patent 129843. Similar automatic oilers had been patented previously, one is the displacement lubricator, which had already attained widespread use and whose technological descendants continued to be widely used into the 20th century. Lubricators were a boon for railroads, as they enabled trains to run faster and more profitably with less need to stop for lubrication and maintenance for McCoy continued to refine his devices and design new ones, most of his patents dealt with lubricating systems. After the turn of the century, he attracted notice among his black contemporaries. Booker T. Washington in Story of the Negro, 1909, recognized him as having produced more patents than any other black inventor up to that time. This creativity gave McCoy an honored status in the black community that has persisted to this day. He continued to invent until late in life, obtaining as many as 57 patents, most related to lubrication but others also included a folding ironing board and a lawn sprinkler. Lacking the capital with which to manufacture his lubricators in large numbers, he usually assigned his patent rights to his employers or sold them to investors. Lubricators with the McCoy name were not manufactured until 1920, near the end of his career, when he formed the Elijah McCoy Manufacturing Company to produce them for. Historians have not agreed on the importance of McCoy's contribution to the field of lubrication. He is credited in some biographical sketches with revolutionizing the railroad or machine industries with his devices. Early 20th century lubrication literature barely mentions him, for example, his name is absent from E. L. Aron's Lubrication of Locomotives, 1922, which does identify several other early pioneers and companies of the field. This popular expression, typically meaning the real thing, has been incorrectly attributed to Elijah McCoy's oil drip cup invention. 
One theory is that railroad engineers looking to avoid inferior copies would request it by name 5 and inquire if a locomotive was fitted with the real McCoy system 6-7. This theory is mentioned in Elijah McCoy's biography at the National Inventors Hall of Fame 8. It can be traced to the December 1966 issue of Ebony in an advertisement for Old Taylor Bourbon Whiskey, but the most famous legacy McCoy left his country was his name 9A 1985 pamphlet printed by the Impact Publishing Company. Also notes the phrase as origin but does not elaborate 10. Other possibilities for its origin have been proposed for and while it has undoubtedly been applied as an epithet to many other McCoys, its association with Elijah has become iconic 11. The expression, the real McCoy, was first published in Canada in 1881, but the expression, the real McKay, can be traced to Scottish advertising in 1856. 12. Marriage He married for the second time in 1873 to Mary Eleanor Delaney. The couple moved to Detroit when McCoy found work there. Mary McCoy, died 1922, helped found the Phyllis Wheatley home for aged colored men in 1898-13. Elijah McCoy died in the Aloise Infirmary in Nankeen Township, now Westland, Michigan, on October 10, 1929 at the age of 85, after suffering injuries from a car accident seven years earlier in which his wife Mary died 14 he is buried in Detroit Memorial Park East in Warren, Michigan 15. In popular culture 1966, an ad for Old Taylor Bourbon cited Elijah McCoy with a photo and the expression The Real McCoy, ending with the tag line, but the most famous legacy McCoy left his country was his name 16. 2006, Canadian playwright Andrew Moody's The Real McCoy portrayed McCoy's life, the challenges he faced as an African American, and the development of his inventions. It was first produced in Toronto 7 and has also been produced in the United States, for example in St. Louis, Missouri, in 2011, where it was performed by the Black Rep Theatre. In her novel Knots and Crosses, Mallory Blackman describes a racial dystopia in which the roles of black and white people are reversed, Elijah McCoy is among the black scientists, inventors, and pioneers mentioned in a history class that Blackman never learned about in school 17. Legacy McCoy Historical Marker, Ypsilanti 1974, the state of Michigan put an historical marker, P25170, at the McCoy's former home at 5720 Lincoln Avenue 18 and at his grave site 19. 1975, Detroit celebrated Elijah McCoy Day by placing a historic marker at the site of his home. The city also named a nearby street for him 20. 1994, Michigan installed a historical marker, S0642, at his first workshop in Ypsilanti, Michigan 18. 2001, McCoy was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in Alexandria, Virginia 8. 2012, the Elijah J. McCoy Midwest Regional U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, the first USPTO satellite office, was opened in Detroit, Michigan 21-22-23A. Thank you and be well.